Hey guys, so this is going to be a follow on as before for my other tutorials which were the horror series. Now today, as I said, we're going to follow on from we made the torch and we made it um, go down intensity over a period of time. Now people requested that they wanted to do the batteries, so this is going to be almost a little step in between before I move on to my next tutorial after, which is probably going to be about um, trigger moments or scary moments. But for now what we're going to do is we're going to um, create a raycast so we can pick up batteries, put a GUI on screen, and then put some more intensity back into the torch. Now, obviously, you could do this by using my raycast tutorial, but I'll show it again for the sake of doing this horror tutorial. So, all I've got is my box here, and my box has got a halo which looks like a glow which is green. Then, nothing special, I've just tagged my box battery by adding a new tag down there. So first of all we're going to need to create a script so we'll create new javascript and we'll call this battery pickup and then open that in monodevelop once you've opened that I'll zoom in a little bit I'll delete the two functions and then I'll write private variable torch script as type Torch controller and torch controller is the name of our obviously that script that we created in the previous tutorial. Now we're going to create another private uh, private variable called GUI show as type boolean equal to false. Then we're going to have a private variable called battery and then as type game object with an uppercase and a lower uh, uppercase in both instances of the word. Then we're going to have a variable called ray length equal to 10. Then what we'll do is write function start two brackets, two curly brackets below. What we'll write is torch script equals game object dot find open brackets in quotes torch because that is what we added to, uh, the script to our that object which is named torch then we'll say dot get component open brackets torch controller close that up put a semicolon so from here then what we're going to do is say function on GUI and then add two curly brackets below and we're going to say that if GUI show is equal to true then we'll add two curly brackets below that and say so that GUI dot box open brackets rect open brackets screen dot width divided by two comma screen dot height divided by two comma say a hundred comma twenty five close the bracket up add a comma in quotes you can write pick up batteries close that up and put a semicolon so all we're doing there <coughs> is pretty much setting the position so screen dot width would take my screen and divide it by two so it put it down the center and the height divide it by two and we'll get the sort of um, midpoint and then we'll get a box in the midpoint a hundred across 25 down obviously you can adjust these settings accordingly to whatever you want and now what we're going to do is get into the meat of the script so we're going to do the raycast we're going to say function update, then two brackets, two curly brackets below. And then we'll say variable hit as colon raycast. Hit with a semicolon. Then we'll say variable forward equals transform dot transform direction open brackets vector 3 dot forward close that up put a semicolon then what we'll say is if physics dot raycast open brackets transform dot position comma forward comma hit comma ray length close that up with two brackets this time because we had one in between then we'll add two curly brackets below there 
and say that if hit dot collider dot game object dot tag is equal to in quotes battery and then close that up then we'll add another two curly brackets below here and say that GUI show is equal to true then we'll say if input dot get key down open brackets then you could put E for picking up whatever you want then we'll add another two curly brackets below there and say that torch script dot flashlight dot light dot intensity plus equals 0.5 or whatever you want the actual um, intensity to go up by then we'll say destroy in brackets battery and then I will add GUI show being equal to false so we don't show it anymore and then what we need to do <clears throat> is right at the end we'll skip three uh, curly brackets back because it ends here and we'll add a couple of line breaks in and we'll say else before I do that I'll zoom out a little bit we'll say else add two curly brackets below there and say that GUI show is equal to false so we'll save that out and I'll quickly run through all of this for zoom back in <clears throat> so what we're doing we're referencing the torch controller script and we're, we're starting it and to find it when we begin the scene then what we're doing is that if we're setting GUI show to true we're going to show you know GUI so we know how to pick it, how to actually pick up the item and then in the update we're setting um, a forward raycast and then what we're saying is that if we're in the range of 10 meters or so you know you can adjust that to however far away you want to be able to pick it up oh that's changed here that needs to be hit so and then as long as we're in range and we're in range of the game object with its tagged battery so the battery they want to be able to pick up then what we're going to do is set GUI show to true because we're in the range of the battery so we want to show it then only if we then press E will we add something to the torch intensity that we already have destroy the game object which we had up here which we'll place in the inspector in a minute then set GUI show to false so we don't show the pickup anymore and I've set an else here because if you're not doing any of this we don't want the GUI to show so make sure you save it out one thing that I did do a little bit wrong in my script is that, that needs to be a lowercase t and then your errors will go away so when you go back into unity you can add your new script to your main camera and then what we'll need to do is add our cube we'll rename this now to battery so we know what it is we'll go back to our main camera we'll put the battery in there leave the ray length at 10 and then what we'll do is we'll play the game you can see that my torch is on now and I can find the battery walk up to it and you can notice that when I look into the center of the screen the raycast is finding the object and we can walk up to it press E and then it will add a certain amount to the torch but because the torch was already bright it makes it a little bit difficult to see one thing you may want to do with the torch is with the torch controller script selected if I open that up is that you don't want the intensity to ever go above a certain amount so say you wanted the intensity to start at 4 but you never wanted it to go um, actually above 4 you just want to say under here that if if flashlight dot light dot intensity is ever greater than or equal to 4 then we'll add a new 
private variable called max intensity and set that equal to 4 then we'll say that flashlight.light.intensity we'll copy that line and we'll say that it equals max intensity with a semicolon so then that means that if the light ever goes above the actual 4 that we set originally we can say that the flashlight is always equal to that so we can never go any higher make sure it's just one one equal sign and that's pretty much it we'll go and test the script again you see that my torch is much dimmer we can walk up to the object that we're looking for now press E and you'll notice that the torch got a little bit brighter so that's just the basics of picking up a battery and displaying something on the GUI and as ever don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers